prompt that you have to deal with the person, the better. That is exactly what an IVR prompt is for. IVR prompts and asterisks are called digital receptionists, and they're very easy to build with the web uh, GUI. I'm going to show you how. First thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and log into your asterisk free PBX portal. You're going to go to your setup tab at the top. You're going to go all the way to the bottom and go to system recordings. Now you're going to need to make a recording so that when the person initially calls it, it the recording needs to tell them what their options are and what to dial to get to those options. So we're going to go ahead and do that. As you can see on the recording screen, step one is to just put in the extension of the phone that you're going to use to record the recording. In my case, it's 1337, of course. You hit go. Next step will be to pick up the extension and dial star 77. After that, after a couple of seconds, it will beep in your recording message and hang up. After that, it will appear in the list on the right of the screen. So let's go ahead and do that. Hey everyone, thanks for calling me, TechCentric PBX. To call our hotline, press 1. To leave a voicemail, press 2. Or to join the conference, press 3. Don't forget to visit the website at www.techcentric.org. And hang out. Last step will be to name the recording. We're going to name this segment. And hit save on the bottom. After that, you'll see it appear in the right so now you have your recording recorded and you have the callers have established their list of options that they can use. After that, you're going to go to the next option up on the list on the left, which is Digital Receptionist. You're going to go to Add IVR on the right of the screen and give it a name. This is just purely for your own cosmetic purposes. I'll name it Test. Timeout number is the amount of seconds before the T option is specified if used. So that means after, if they, this is useful for if, uh, say maybe it's a modem dialing or a fax machine, maybe someone with a old rotary phone or something like that. After a certain amount of seconds, it will terminate to a default option. So we're just going to leave that at 10. Enable directory allows you to press star when the person calls and get a directory uh, where they enter the first few numbers of the person's name and it gives them that. Direct dial allows them to enter in an extension number at that prompt. So. If you ever called our hotline it says, feel free to dial the extension at any time. That means when I say that, you can now dial an extension and it will transfer you straight to that extension instead of setting a setting for each one of those. This is good for even small setups and for huge setups. All right, announcement. Announcement is where you're going to select the recorded message that you just made. So we're going to go into record segment. Alright, now this is where it gets a little tricky. Actually, it's not very tricky, it's just probably the hardest part of doing the whole thing is staying organized with it. Uh, you're going to need to kind of plan out how many options you're going to have. So, we're going to have four options. I believe what I said the first one was, when the person dials one, we're going to call the hotline. We're going to select the core. We're going to select extension 1337. Option two, we'll put in option number two here. We're going to go to the core settings, and we're going to transfer them to voicemail box 1337 because that was to leave a message. We're going to go to option three, and I do believe that was called the conference line. And option four will be our secret hidden administrative access, which will give us access to any of the voicemail accounts. So we'll go to core, and once again put voicemail box 1337. It's important to remember that you can have as many options in here as you want. Uh, either the caller can know about them or they can't. Just remember if it's something that needs to stay secure, like say you have your Astros server hooked up to your home phone line and you're accepting calls from the outside, maybe you want to be able to make calls from your home phone line through your cell phone or something like that, which I will explain in a later segment. You, mean, you need to have that password protected because uh, somebody could get in that, they could just be dialing random numbers, they can make all kinds of crazy phone calls to like the Philippines and Taiwan and really ring up your phone bill. Alright, so after that's done, you're going to hit the save button. Give it a second. And of course, hit the red bar at the top. That finalizes the settings. From there, you can pretty much do anything you want with this IVR. You can send uh, all their IVRs to it, so maybe you have 
press 1 to leave a message for the crew, and then when you press 1, it transfers you to another IVR. It says to leave a message for Steve, to leave a message for Nick, etc. Uh, for if you want it to appear when anyone calls, just set it in your inbound round. Use the IVR radio button and the drop down box to select the IVR. That's about all there is to IVRs. There's a lot more uh, little tricks and toys that you can do with them. They really come in handy when you need to gain input from a caller. Uh, like I said, even if the caller is yourself, you need administrative access to something away from the internal switched PBX lines. If you have any questions, comments, go ahead and email me, will at techcentric.org. Call the hotline, of course, at 1-360-226-7313. Questions, comments, leave them on the website. Leave feedback, anything you want, anything you want to see, go ahead and send it to me. And uh, see you next month.